Charles, I wanted to start talking a little bit about infrastructure for that pipeline, and that's probably going to be where some of that investment is going to go through to first ensure that that infrastructure is in place to be able to capitalize on this investment. Yep. Yeah. Tell us more, Charles. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, it's quite an interesting project that we're looking at. Uh, and as you're well aware, the project is being looked under under the joint venture, which is uh, Mason Barasti, Balas Group and Claremont joint venture. And this joint venture is specifically formed uh, to be able to uh, allow that investment pipeline to come through. So what we're looking at for that project, basically, is putting up a secondary refinery to support the current refinery, uh, putting a duplicate line that will run parallel with this, within the same easement of the, the, the primary line, uh, increasing production primarily from about three times what the capacity is, and hopefully to extend that to about five times of a modulized uh, approach. Uh, the intention is that um, the stage two of that project will then incorporate a light industrial area that will have some housing, uh, a dry port, and a few other commercial facilities. So that's how we're actually looking at this project. Uh, we hope that this project will come online within four, the next four to five years. Charles, when it comes to skills base, because one of the things that is going to be looked at when it comes to this project is usually excitement when it comes to job creation. Just tell us a little bit about how ready Zambia is, and particularly Ndola, how ready it is to be able to provide the skills that will probably be needed for this when it comes to manpower for such a project. Hello? Are you there? Charles, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. I, I was asking about, about the skills base in, in, in the area where this pipeline is expected to be set up. When, when it comes to skills, how much skills does Zambia have to be able to contribute to this project? This, this, this is a real area of challenge. Um, it's a real area of challenge for us because uh, in Zambia we don't have a lot of skill sets that is able to actually implement that kind of a project. We brought in uh, pipeline experts from OSD that did a tour of both on the Zambian side and the Tanzanian side, so they both flew over to Tanzania to have a look at 